Welcome back to the channel. So no excuses, work just got in the way. Anyway, the wife and I took the opportunity over Easter to visit Japan. Wow, what a feast. So how do you sum up Japan? We started off in Tokyo, then took a bullet train to Kyoto. From there, we boarded the Hello Kitty train, a very special train, to Osaka. Before we get started, I want to clarify bus number 11 is an old Cantonese slang for walking. I'm sure you get the reference between number 11 and the shape of your legs. On this trip, we totted up about 20,000 steps a day. Not bad going. Where better to start in Tokyo than Shibuya? So one of the famous landmarks in Shibuya is the statue of Hachiko, the dog. In a way, the story of Hachiko is very similar to Greyfriars Bobby in Edinburgh. <laughs> Wow, this street in Shibuya is incredible. It's so pretty. And the food, the cookings, the smell. Oh, I'm hungry. I want to go and grab some lunch now. Okay, so we've done uh, Shibuya. We've got our Shinkansen train ticket, the bullet train ticket to Kyoto for Tuesday. And now I think we're going to head towards uh, Harajuku. That is, uh, gives a totally different flavor again. So let's go. Before we head to Harajuku, if you fancy a pair of custom made jeans, jean jacket, skirt, dungarees or whatever, do try Betty Smith. I'm sure there's a combination of rivets and buttons that will suit your taste.
So we are in um, Shinjuku Station in Tokyo. It has to be one of the most confusing stations I've ever been to. Um, it's divided into east and west, mostly. The west side being um, of, of Shinjuku Station is quite, um, as we say, gentlemanly. The east side is a bit more for want of a better word, seedy, rough, yes. Um, it doesn't help that the signs are in Japanese, but fortunately I can read uh, Chinese, so that helps me half the time. I think it would be easier to navigate Hampton Court Maze blindfolded than to try and navigate this labyrinth here. It's. Um, all I can say is, is really crazy. Today we're headed to Yanaka. Um, it's like the northeast part of Tokyo. It's an old part, apparently. So we're kind of excited to check out the um, historical buildings there. So we've uh, reached Yanaka, and the first thing that greets us is this beautiful avenue of uh, cherry blossoms. It's so quaint here, and I love it that everybody's just going around on bicycles. They even play music on the street, as you can hear. It's almost like living in one of the scenes from Hayao Miyazaki's movies. The pace of life is so slow, it's hard to believe you're a stone throw away from Tokyo downtown. Wow, what a nice discovery. Very cute little park. So my search for a project bike brings me to Japan and in particular Ueno where it's traditionally famous for motorcycle shops but unfortunately nothing here has really taken my fancy uh, I might be better off trying to search for one on a website I have never seen one person walk so many dogs. So this afternoon we're in uh, Yoyogi Park, which is um, between Shinjuku and Harajuku. Beautiful here. It's like it's snowing. <laughs> I have no idea what this is, how they can be even be street legal, but there you go. Yeah. <laughs> 
It's morning rush hour and we're heading to Kyoto this morning. So we've got to find our way to the bullet train. We found our way onto the platform to catch our bullet train to Kyoto. Um, it's a pretty miserable day out there, so maybe it's perfect for us to just be taking it easy on the train. Thank you for watching till the end. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. In the next episode, I'll take you to Kyoto and then Osaka. So see you then. Bye bye.